on the News Channel 5 Network. This is Real Estate Real Talk with your host, Realtor Christy Wilson. Sponsored by the Wilson Group Real Estate Services. Good morning. Welcome to Real Estate Real Talk, Nashville's only live call-in real estate TV show where we invite you, the viewer, to call in with any real estate question you may have. Our call-in number is 737-7587. Happy New Year. With me today is Liz Cruz, who is co-hosting with me. Liz, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here. I'm excited that you're going to be my co-host. This will be a lot of fun. It's going to drive a lot more questions, a lot more energy. So, And the best part is I've written down questions that Christy does not know about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> put so. me on, put me a little on edge. This will be fun today. <laughs> this will be really fun. My name is Christy Wilson. I'm with the Wilson Group Real Estate Services. The Wilson Group is the proud sponsor of Real Estate Real Talk along with Farmington Financial Group. So we really appreciate our sponsors for letting us be on the air today. Check out our website at wilsongrouprealestate.com if you have any questions about real estate want to get in touch with any of our agents or look at our listings online we have tons of pictures tons of information that you can check out if you're thinking of investing we've got a full-time property management division as well and we're happy to help you with all of your rental and investment needs as well Farmington Financial Group give Billy Hamburg a call you can reach Billy at 690-5100 if you're thinking about buying a home or refinancing he can help you out. We've got a great show today. We are talking all things real estate. And Liz and I were just talking at before we came on the air about it being the new year and yes. resolutions, goals, all those good things that you start in on at the new year. So what is your number one goal for 2014, if, my, you, if you have one? My number one goal, actually my, my number one goal is always my spiritual goal. It's like I just need to let it go more and give it to God. I mean, that—that that is my number one goal is to remind myself that that's what I have to do because I can't do anything else. And then my number two goal is um, to be a better leader for my for my company. And um, I have about 12. And uh, so what sources do you use? What do you refer to to be, become a better leader? Um, lots of things. I love Lou Tice with Pacific Institute. Lou was a um, just a great inspirational motivational guy the Pacific Institute I don't know if you're familiar with that program I'm not it's all about self self actualization and motivation and bringing things from within to achieve what you want to achieve we lost Lou this year he passed away um, this past year lots of amazing people passed away in 2013 it was a rough year yeah I saw it in the paper on um, I guess the 31st I was reading the paper mm -hmm. and they gave I was out of town so it wasn't the Tennessean but it listed all these Im Im very impressive people a lot of them luckily a lot of them really old you know like Nobel Peace Prize winners and, and stuff like that but kind of sad nonetheless um, so that, that's my number that I read a lot of motivational things um, I'm always reading and just trying to learn more and then I'm going to ask if you had to. I'm going to flip the subject for a moment, but I, I want to ask Christy what her funniest showing that she had in 2013. Is there one like wow funny <laughs> showing or a home inspection? Was there something that just really just at, at the end of the day you got home and you got a, a good laugh? out of what happened that day. I know sometimes I have stories like that for loan applications. Yeah, you know, um, I did House Hunters last year. Okay. And that, watching that show, watching me do that, and that watching yourself show real estate in uh -huh. itself is so funny. I mean, because you, you just do it every day. You know, you're showing houses, you're talking to your clients, you're explaining things about what's going on with the house. And then to watch you on camera going, have those mannerisms? I talk like that, you know. That that was that was. Pretty Did you funny. feel like the Vanna White of real estate? No, I, I get. I'm sort of a goofball, anyways. I mean, our goal is to really have a good time when we're uh -huh. looking at property, and we do have a good time, and everything's funny. Part about being a real estate is you're also sort of a detective, trying to figure out what the situation is in a house, why the people may be selling. Some things are so clear. For instance, if 
someone is just busting at the seams with toddler toys and all the like play kitchens and play things you just know they're they're upsized and they need a bigger house right um, and they haven't decluttered yet they haven't decluttered <laughs> yet because they haven't gotten their pod yes other times like when you see a, um, a girl who's about to get married you know there's all the the wedding preparation so you know why she's moving or if it's a bachelor I mean you can you can pick out a bachelor house like that you can just open the refrigerator you know and there's usually a, a six-pack of beer some condiments and like some cheese <laughs> so Christy just made a really valid point which is apparently when you're getting your house ready to show clean out your fridge clean Who out would have thought that yeah but apparently people are looking inside your fridge just so you know well that's a great point Liz because nowadays most people leave the refrigerators with the house it used oh. to be people would take the refrigerator with them okay. when they moved and probably now it's about 75 percent of all sales the fridge remains with the home so are you so, checking out the ice maker to see if it works the inspector will <laughs> <laughs> and that's a disclosure item if the ice okay. maker's not working the seller needs to disclose that that's not working okay yeah but yeah you um you know you're opening cabinets you're opening closets okay you're opening the refrigerator the refrigerator remains just to see also people are opening your ovens when you're oh. getting your house ready to go on the market clean your oven clean everything clean your oven clean your windows clean your ceiling fans it's like you don't really live there well, and, and that's part of my spiel when I go yeah. in to help somebody sell a home is the way you sell a home isn't how you live in a home. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, there's a, I've got another question. What is the funniest picture you've seen in somebody's house? You know, like those awkward family photos? <laughs> yeah, yeah. you seen any of those? Uh, yeah. I've, I've seen some shocking <laughs> things. You just really learn about people. Um, you know, the most interesting story, this didn't have in 2013, but this stays in my head. And this was a showing I had in East Nashville uh -huh. a long time ago, before East Nashville was the hotbed of activity and like one of the number one neighborhoods appreciating that people want to be in. It was, it was just starting. And I was showing an investor some property over there. And we walked up to the house. The grass was really tall. It was just a run down, little terrible home. Uh -huh. We get on the front porch. Look, I'm walking up the steps. We get up on the front porch, and you can just smell trash. And mm. it, it was, I look at my buyer and I'm going, this can't be good. Um, knock on the door. Somebody opens the door. The smell that emitted from that house was terrible. And this house, a hoarder lived in this house you literally oh. had to walk through pathways of garbage I mean there was the hefty bag garbage but there was also just like McDonald's bags and food and just stuff tossed to the side and you walk through the pathways and not only were you working through walking through the pathways they had animals in the house who didn't go outside a lot so there were you had to yeah. step over you know animal waste and then I know this is a long drawn out story, but it's fascinating to this day to be. They also had um, these aquariums against the wall, and I'm going, oh my God, what is in that aquarium? You know, because you couldn't see, they were so dirty. Were they snakes? Um, they were, as it turned out, the um, rats and mice that she was raising for snake food. But there were snakes in there. Oh. And it, it was disgusting. So you may want to find out what kind of pets that people have. Yeah. <laughs> So that, that one ranks up there as one of the strangest showings I've ever had. Well, I'd like to challenge someone to call in and tell us their funniest story about 2013, about looking at real estate. That's a great idea. I would love for someone to call in and, and let us know what they maybe discovered during a home inspection or maybe uh, they went to a home that they really thought would be beautiful and it turned out they walked in and the carpet was a really strange color. If you could just call in and tell us some of your stories, that would be that would be entertaining this morning. That would be fun. So give us a call, 737-7587. We're going to go to a short commercial break. When we come back, we'll look forward to taking your calls.